Hello world! Welcome back to another Pico CTF 2022 write up video. In this video, we'll be walking through the cryptography challenge Veneer, worth 100 points. Let's get into it. Can you decrypt this message? Decrypt this message using the key Scilab. Okay, so this is pretty straightforward. This is a Veneer cipher. Now, I apologize, I don't think I mentioned in the previous substitution cipher videos that those were mono alphabetic substitution ciphers, but this one is a polyalphabetic substitution cipher. And what the difference is, is with a monoalphabetic substitution cipher, you have a one for one substitution. So for each letter, there's only one replacement for that letter. So if your key is, if you have a substitution cipher and you have an E and the E is supposed to be an A, that makes all the E's in that cipher text A's. And it can't be any other letter. Right? Only one for one. In a polyalphabetic cipher, however, you can have multiple characters represent one character. So say in that same in a similar context, as such as the case with a, a veneer cipher. Say you have the character E again, and it's supposed to be an A, but it could also be a C. That's what polyalphabetic means. It, it could be two or more if it needs to. It can it can even still be one if it needs to. Bottom line is that's the main difference, right? Monoalphabetic is one for one. Polyalphabetic is two or more for one. All right, so now let's actually solve the challenge, right? So here's our cipher text that we're going to be decoding. So let's go ahead and copy that. And we're just gonna go use a veneer cipher decoder to solve this. And I would use decode FR, but this one looks a little bit cleaner in my opinion, if it's an option, because decode FR typically has like pretty much everything you could ever think of in terms of cryptography or decoding type algorithms. So, and the key was, I believe, Scilab. And let's see what happens if we decode it. And there's the flag, Pico CTF. Don't use the near cipher, right? Because as you can see, it's very easy to decrypt. Now, there is an option to auto solve without the key. So if we remove the key and auto solve it without the key, you do have a chance of the ciphertext being broken this way, but usually you need the ciphertext to be a little bit longer so it can actually, the longer it is, the easier it'll be for it to be able to figure out what the key is for it to crack it. So it didn't work in this case, but luckily since we do have the key, we can decode the ciphertext. All right, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like and subscribe to the channel to show your support. Turn on post notifications to get regular injections of cyber content directly into your feed. Check out our Patreon, join our Discord, and follow us on Twitter. Links in the description box down below. And leave any feedback or questions in the comments section down below. This is Almond Milk. Thanks for watching. Goodbye, world.